Hello everyone, welcome back to Shadow Toys Photography. Today we're looking at the Bro Toys Doomsday Crisis 4 Alice LR003 112 scale action figure, or Resident Evil Alice, or whatever you want to go by. But this is a third party, um, loosely based on Milo Jovovich's Alice from Resident Evil. One of my and a lot of everybody's favorite movie video game and movie franchises. Yes, they're a little bit over the top and some of them don't match the video games, but the movies were fun. They were cool. Um, they were different and they gave us a lot of that umbrella biohazard goodness and uh, yeah, they weren't bad. So Bro Toys gave us this nice Alice figure. Let me bring her up close here. And the uh, Mila Jovovich likeness is definitely in there. The lighting is kind of, I don't want to say washing out her eyes, but it's giving this demonic eye effect. When I look at her over the camera, like her eyes are perfect, but my lighting is just not doing her eyes justice. As you can see, it's pretty br uh, bright lighting. It's bouncing off her skin, kind of um, washing out of it. She is, you know, a lot of tan and um, different shading and colors in there. Her arms are obviously, uh, that kind of just flesh tone but yeah she's definitely got a lot more tones paint tones in her face than my over the top lighting is giving her credit for well let's go right in, right into uh just taking a look at her here and her details i mean you can argue uh it doesn't really look like her it may look like her get all points of view there but you know who it is. Like, you see this on a shelf, you're like, is that Milo Jovovich from Resident Evil? It's like, yes, yes it is. So, it's it's there. Enough is there. I see it. You know, argue with me. Tell me if I'm dead wrong. But dead on? I mean, it's definitely, like, that's her right there. That's her. The, the shadowing is making it seem like her jaw is a little bit uh, fuller than it is. But again, over the camera, it's... It's thin. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here with this. It's really weird with the camera and the lighting and I don't know. But yeah, her hair. Check out those details. The shading in there. And her outfit harnessed is really cool. You can fit all her weapons. We'll go through all that. Just really taking her in. She's got like a... I'll go through it. It's kind of weird. Like, her chest is a little hard, but the neck is soft. It's very, very strange. I like the articulation. It works. Armbands. Yeah, these straps are really cool. And her boots. Man, her boots look absolutely amazing. Check that out. That's that's sculpt. That's not real. Fuzz on me. That's not real uh, string there. That's that's a sculpt in there. That's her boots are. I think besides the face, her boots are the best uh, best thing on it. Those wrinkles, and it's one piece and it moves. I'll go through through the articulation in just a moment. A little plain on the bottom, but I really can't complain when. These boots look really good. I don't mean to take too much time. Wow, even the zipper. I don't mean to take too much time on it, but you gotta appreciate those details. Like, man. See, I'm telling you, third party companies, they're taking some of my money. They're <laughs> they're doing really, really well. Here, I'll pop her head off. You'll notice she's got the Nota Man kind of set up there, if you're familiar with that for her head. Which I, I prefer this because then you don't have to worry about maybe pulling the ball joint. But you don't get that much up and down. It's like the bottom piece is attached to this neck, which is one piece. But it gets really good movement out of it. I mean, they gave her hair a little bit of a, a dent there to kind of give you more room or space or whatever to articulate it. But... Yeah, very, I think this is the first for me with this kind of neck design. Did Sarah Connor have this kind of a 30112 Sarah Connor? Maybe, I gotta, uh, I gotta double check that. It's been a minute, but 
yeah that's really really cool and i'll show you how good of a range it gets uh later on with the weapons and stuff like that but her arms are make me a little nervous up here because you could hear that but it does swing up pretty well the side and her bicep is down here which is interesting double joints gets the what's that that's 90 80 70 60 let me see yeah, I think it's uh, maybe 10 or 20 degrees less than a normal human, but that's pretty, that's pretty good. I'm kind of checking myself right now, trying to touch my own. You can't touch, touch your wrist to your shoulder if you can uh, call Guinness, but if you can't, you can kind of see your degrees there. And it's like, all right, that, if this is 90 straight out, you know, 80, 70, 60, I'm trying to count that. But again, sorry not to take too much time on that, but really good bend nonetheless little wrist joints they made me a little nervous but honestly once i switch the hands i'll do it for this one the the uh, left one it really uh wasn't bad at all hopefully i don't eat my words and the left one's bad but she's get she's got a little bit i could feel the the cut right under her chest there doesn't give you too much she does have a lot a double layer there and then the bottom Not too bad. And then if you incorporate the head and everything else, that's pretty good. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Backwards, of course. She gets side to side a little bit. I'm just a little nervous because uh, <laughs> these female bodies I'm not used to because we don't usually get these kind of hyper-articulated females, but it's there. Twist. Just at the top. Oh yeah, absolutely. Legs, it's got a thigh, thigh cut, or is it moving? Let's see. Oh no, maybe not. Let's try this one. Is her whole leg moving or does she have a thigh cut in there? I'm trying to see, Let's see if I can feel it. Now I think it's one piece. So you get it from where it connects at the crotch, I guess, in there. But it's there. I mean, she can't do a cross her legs, but decent. I mean, she could do almost a full split, which is really good. Kick out, back pretty, really well. And forward all the way and go up high. Yeah, really good leg, really good leg. Her legs seem a little long. I think it's because of the boot and the, the knee-high socks that aren't, don't come to her knee. They come past her knee, so I don't know. But as you can see, double joints. Uh, not really a boot swivel, but the boot is so realistic that, as you noticed, it has no cut in there, but it gets. And that's the realistic boot cut. If it had a cut, but let's say it didn't. Well, it doesn't, so... But this is, when I talk about boot cuts and other figures, this is what I'm imagining it is. Because if you wore a boot like this, or a leather boot, an army boot, or any kind of boot similar to this style, uh, you know this is about the amount of range you could get. Maybe you could wiggle your toes a little bit more, but for an action figure, that's all you really need. That's pretty good, really good, really good articulation. I can't complain. And <laughs> that's not even the best part of this figure. It's actually her stand, which I'll get to. But first, she's got this jacket, which admittedly I'm having a little trouble with because it was wrapped around twice. So then I started to pull it apart and then I realized, wait, is it not supposed to? Because that's awfully long and it's doubled in there. So now I'm thinking, oh, did I screw that up? And do I have to now do the tweezers and kind of squeeze that back through there but i have to kind of play with this a little more look at more pictures on my phone just on the website and things like that and kind of see how she's wearing it to before i kind of commit to taking that apart but as you can see even with her hand on it slips right on there i'll we'll just do a quick yeah because i can't even like pull it around her because it's the thing is there the belt i'll figure it out but just for quick uh review sake 
I mean, it goes on her perfectly. It slides right on perfectly. If, you know, I had more time, I would slip that on, but you get the idea. You can kind of see from this direction and yeah, it looks really good. This fur is, I don't want to say real fur, but it is really nice and fuzzy. It feels like real fur, fur lined coat. So if this is from, admittingly, when I first pre-ordered her, I thought it was her Resident Evil 2, uh, uh, yeah, 2 outfit. Then it says Resident Evil 4, and I'll be honest with you, I only saw that movie once, and it's been, like, I want to be like, oh, I saw it in, like, 10, 2010, 2012. Yeah, that's, like, 10 years, so it's been a while since I've seen them. So I told my wife today, I was like, we got to run through the Resident Evil trilogy and see, uh, kind of brush up on it. So let me get into her stand real quick. Before getting anything else. You're like, oh, it's a normal stand, right? Pretty good. It's, you know, thick and it'll hold her up. And she does need a dynamic pose because she's like, you know, augmented. So she can, uh, biochemically engineered. So she can do all crazy flying kicks and stuff. But here's, here's the, the game changer. As you kind of tell what's going to happen a drawer for accessories and look how many like all of them practically fit in there if i really wanted to squeeze them all in they would all in look all her hands her guns that is amazing bro toys way to change the game and i've been on uh, companies like mezco like i like your stands they're really good they're just i don't know but if like companies like mezco started doing this as well as giving us the bags, but this is, that is awesome. I really appreciate that. That is just going to help out collection wise so much, uh, space wise, organizing wise, even if you want to store her on your shelf, if you're display them, you don't put them away in, uh, boxes or whatever, keep them in boxes and you can display, like you could just keep her stuff right in here, swap them out every week or month. If you get bored, with her pose or whatever. Oh man, I'm sorry. I don't mean to spend so much time in the little details on this, but with action figures and the reviews, my reviews in general, I want to spend more time focusing on the, the little things that these companies are really putting into these figures. Here's her sword. We'll move on to other accessories. I didn't notice the blue painted in there. Wow. Wow, that's really, that's really good. The sheath comes right out. It's a little bit of a short sword. Kitana. It's got a nice shine on this side especially i don't have her proper melee holding hand but i had a trigger hand in there i'll switch this hand out and do that but yeah this is uh she's just loaded and packed and this hand could hold the hold the sword i think yes i'll keep her back there comes with two of these MP5s, I believe. If you're not familiar with guns, uh, if you're familiar with movies, Neo used this in the first Matrix. In that awesome uh, lobby scene. He's like, keys, loose chains. Holy. That was so awesome. So, yeah, these are her MP5s. And yes, the magazine is removable. Can you see the. the bullet? Come on. I don't, I don't know if it's going to focus. It's a little... Oh, there we go. You can see it. Yes. That's pretty cool. I like when you see, can see the, the rounds in there. Here. Check, check this out. So here's the example. She's dropping everything. Of her articulation. Gun fits right in. Arm goes up. All right, so here's the neck. See, I like that. That was, what, two seconds? And she's looking right down that barrel. So, I, I don't know. You don't get much movement from the up in there. It's all down here, but it, it works really. Yeah, she looks badass. <laughs> she looks, it works really well. Let's get her. A little more of a complex pose, more tactical. Should we look down that sight there? Oh yeah, 
per perfect. Look, you can see her eye right through there. <laughs> Umbrella. Nice. Yeah, I'm having uh, a little too much fun with this. All right, let's go through her other stuff. Let's maybe switch her hand out. It's running a little long, but we're having fun here. I'm having fun over here. Let's do the old, uh, the old dump. Ready? Okay, not too bad. Kind of see inside with the light show. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's. Oh, uh oh. A little jammed in there. There's no accessory stuck in there. I don't see anything. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice. And you can even use this. Like a coat hanger. <laughs> yes. Put her other stuff over here. Well, let's go through her Hans. Okay, so she comes with the triggers. Left and right. But then she comes with another right hand trigger. Which I'm not really too sure. I mean, it holds guns and stuff. It's just loose. So is it like some kind of pose or something? I don't know, I'm a little confused. Is it for a specific gun? But she comes with two of everything, pretty much minus the katana, so... And she only comes with one extra right-hand point, pointer, so... Very, very strange, very strange with that one. She comes with, uh... Well, that's a relaxed, she comes with another relaxed hand there. Just basic paint, nothing fancy about them. No extra shading, no, not too much detail, but. Oh yeah, there's some detail in the hands in there. Open, open, did I show this one yet? I think I did. Some details in there. Another open hand. Okay, the open palms have more detail much on the nails but is she really gonna be doing her nails when she's in an apocalypse i showed this one and then the two melee gripping and let's replace that now Move a little thing up there and pop pop that back in let's get her sold See, and the sword seems a little thick for the grip. Let's see, get that in there. Yeah, huh. Weird. But she can hold it and she can do bring that right up to her. It's really sweet. Really sweet. Yeah, let's get her showing off the guns, I guess, next, right? Handgun. Easy pose with. I'm gonna show the gun off. Nice. Well, I like the detail at the tip of the barrel there. You see bullets in there? No. I like how it's got a uh, barrel hole. Remember when the guns didn't have that? Jeez Louise. It's terrible. Nice. She comes with a pair of those. Dual wielding. You saw the MP5s. Okay, she comes with two double-barreled shotguns. Sawed off shotguns. Shut that off there. They got some dirt, some grime on there. Nicely painted, nicely detailed. And they come with a nice little gimmick pop that down and let's see if i can do this shaky hand there we go see the bullets in there really cool boom yeah 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 and then man she comes with so much let me put the sword away i don't want anything after that this comes with two of these 
call them black widow batons but non-lethal let this one roll back here batons there this one's got some stains on it i didn't i didn't notice that before one stained like it's been smacking some faces and the other one clean huh interesting i wonder if oh i didn't notice the gold triggers are they different i'm just trying to see if they are like dirty one's dirtier than the other or differently oh, they're kind of giving a different i think that's the lighting doing that just trying to see if they're different like that because that's that's a really cool detail and then she comes with two of these what are they like Bowie knives switchblade boomerang <laughs> i think they're buoys forgive me it's been a while since I saw my cutlery shows i miss those cutlery late night cutlery sword guys you remember those guys 200 piece custom design i think i've talked about them before I love that. I miss them so much. Yeah, that's a nice blade. Nice, nicely painted. Excellent. Excellent. And that's it for accessories. We'll go into size comparisons. And, uh, oh, man, I should really load her up here. That's going to that's gonna take a minute. Maybe I'll do that next time. I do have the other one pre-ordered or ordered, and she is on the way. Yeah, that fits right in there. Nice. I really don't know. I got to see. Again, I have to do some... Uh, I think these go in the back here like this. A little bit of research. Because in the movie, you're not really... I mean, you can kind of tell a little bit. Yeah, this is going to require some finagling in there. I mean, you can tell, like, oh, she's got guns and stuff like that. But she's just pulling them out left and right. You can't really tell she's got them in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to... I don't have to see how that goes because they're not really fitting in there. And the sword goes down the middle there, obviously. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do a little researching because this is a, uh, this is a lot. The box didn't really. It just showed. You know her and her stand and all her stuff. Really, it didn't show. Um, <laughs> didn't have instructions. You see what I'm saying? Instructions are so important. All right, couple. Uh, let's bring out some guys here, so you get a idea of her scale. She is. She is short, let me warn you. Here's a Valiverse male. I'm like, okay, uh, yeah, she is a little short there. Here's a Valiverse female. So she is on the shorter side. So I wouldn't, she's like the uh, overseas 112 scale. She isn't true 112 scale. I'm not even gonna bother with NECA because that's gonna be ridiculous. Let's try a G.I. Joe guy. Copperhead. Let's move the Valifero out of there. Yeah. Yeah, she definitely... I mean, he's looking like he's on the juice compared to her. Here's Marion. All right, a little bit from the Indiana Jones. Still Hasbro here. A little better. A little better. Now let's try uh, one more Hasbro. Spiral. I'm gonna say Calypso. <laughs> Ew, who may not stand? Cause she's got uh, her feet are a little, you know. Um, not too much more here. Let's bring out some Mezco male. Pop her out. Let's get another Mezco guy. Leatherface, I mean, they scale okay because they're, uh, they're like monster men. Here's a normal Mezco size guy. This is Cousin Eddie with a custom jobbers butcher head on there. And yeah, she's she's a little under scale. All right, well, uh, two more, two more. Here's a Mezco female. Oh yeah, again, dwarfs her there. 
Okay, one more, and I think this is who she scales with. Whoops, hit the camera there. Sorry about that. I think this is who she scales with. Just like grabbing figures back and forth. Here's a figure arts Deadpool. And I think that's, now I think we found it. That's the, the scale she belongs in. So figure arts level, she'll fit with your Avengers or DC or that kind of, if you want her to scale correctly. I mean, you could fudge her in with anything. I mean, let's be honest with camera angles. I mean, you put her up here and him down there, you know, you can make anyone look bigger or smaller just based on angles. But play-wise and uh, display, playing display pretty much, it may, she may feel or be a little small. I mean, she is, her character is super powerful, so, but yeah, I think that's, that's it right there. But I am enjoying this figure, nonetheless. I mean, she is great. Let me, you know, let me grab one more. I know. Mayfex. Okay. Mayfex as well. So, yeah, so those, so import pretty much overseas. I mean, technically every figure's from overseas, but you get the gist here. Let's bring, uh, let's get the double barrel in her hand there. But yeah, I'm enjoying this figure a lot. I'm happy with it. I recommend it, yes. Uh, you know, she's not on too many websites. She will be hard to find when she goes. But, you know, how many Resident Evil fans are there? There's a few. There's a few of those movies and stuff like that. And she really looks... She really looks good. Yeah, I recommend getting her. I do have the other version coming. I think it's LR004. Um, when that comes in, I'll uh, give a look at her as well. And we'll compare her and... Maybe we'll do more zombie comparisons. I don't have too many Resident Evil third party. I am building it up, but yeah, we'll take a look. Yeah, I should grab the old, older Resident Evils, those old, old ones from like the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, yeah, they probably won't scale. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Till next time.